In this video, we're going to explore the concept of the radian. We're also going to see how to convert between radians and degrees, and we'll review briefly arc lengths. Let's get started. You are no doubt familiar with the concept of degrees. For example, there are 360 degrees in a circle, acute angles are less than 90 degrees, a right angle is exactly 90 degrees, and a straight line is 180 degrees, and so on. A radian is an alternate approach to measuring angles and, as the name suggests, it is related to a circle's radius. In this demonstration, I'm going to start by using a straight edge to measure a radius from the center of my circle to a point on the circle. Next, I'm going to trim my blue pipe cleaner to match the radius of my circle. I'll keep the radius length and I'll set the rest aside. Okay. Now I'm going to take my bendable pipe cleaner, whose length is one radius, and I'll measure out an arc on my circle as such. I'll place a little point on my circle to indicate the endpoint of the arc. Next, I'll use my straight edge again to measure a radius out to the endpoint of my arc. Let's pause right here. I have three radii, the two that I drew with my pencil, and one measured as an arc length on the circle. That's it, we've just discovered the radian. A radian is the measure of an angle, which intercepts an arc whose length is one radius. Now, you're probably wondering how radians and degrees relate to one another. That will be our next discovery. First, let's take a quick detour and consider the circumference of a circle. That is, the measure all the way around the circle. We know from geometry that this measurement is 2 pi r. Before I show the number of radians in a circle visually, think to yourself what you think the answer may be. So there it is, we have six full radius lengths plus approximately a quarter of an additional radius length. Now, if we approximate two pi, that's about two times 3.14, which is about 6.28. Hey, we were pretty accurate with our visual model. So to summarize, when the angle theta is one radian, the arc intercepted by that angle will equal one radius length. Since the circumference of a circle is two pi r and a radian is one radius length, there will be two pi radians in one full rotation. A half rotation will be pi radians, that's 180 degrees, and one half pi radians will be 90 degrees. One third pi makes 60 degrees, one fourth pi makes 45 degrees, and one sixth pi is half of a 60 degree angle, which will be 30 degrees. A quick note about speaking conventions. When you see a fraction such as pi over six, you will often hear this referred to as just that, pi over six pi over 4, pi over 3, pi over 2, and so on. It is also accurate to refer to this as 1 6 pi, 1 4 pi, 1 3 pi, and so on. Converting between degrees and radians is a piece of cake. Traditionally, we use pi radians equals 180 degrees as a conversion factor. Let's try a few together. We'll convert 285 degrees to radians. To set it up, we know that we want to convert from degrees to radians. Using dimensional analysis, we want our units of degrees to divide and our units of radians to remain. We have 285 degrees times pi radians contain 180 degrees. I'll use factors to divide this without a calculator. 285 pi can be written as 15 times 19 times pi. And in the denominator, 180 can be written as 45 times 4. We can simplify our fraction here with these friendly factors. 15 40 fifths is 1 third. In the numerator, we have 1 times 19 pi, and in the denominator, we have 3 times 4. Altogether, this will be 19 twelfths pi radians, or 19 pi over 12 radians. When you encounter an answer like this, leave your answer in terms of pi. In other words, don't use any decimals, mixed numbers, or approximations. Let's try the other conversion, that is, converting from radians to degrees. We'll take 2 thirds pi radians to degrees. Again, we multiply by our conversion factor. 180 degrees contains pi radians. Taking the product of factors across the numerator and the denominator, we have two times 180 pi divided by three pi. There are 60 groups of three in 180 and pi divided by pi is just one. This simplifies to two times 60 or just 120 degrees. One last topic to review. To find an arc's length, simply multiply the radian measure of that central angle by the length of the radius. For example, the central angle shown here is 240 degrees, which is four pi over three radians, or four thirds pi radians. We can scale this up by a factor of four to get the length of the arc labeled S. Why four? Because the radius of the circle is four. That will be four thirds pi times four, which is 16 thirds pi. 
If we happen to find that the radius is measured in inches, we would just add those units of inches to the end of our answer. That wraps up our introduction to the radian concept, as well as a quick tutorial for converting between radians and degrees. Thanks for watching.